Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a review on a product I just picked up from Michaels. It is the Foil Quill Standard Tip Freestyle Pen. This is what it looks like. It's basically a metal pen that you plug in and it heats up and then you draw on the foil and it transfers the foil onto your surface. At Michaels this is $60 which is pretty expensive. On Amazon I found the same pen for $36. I did buy it from Michaels though because I had a 45% off coupon so it actually came out like $3 cheaper than the one on Amazon. So it's pretty, if you buy it with the coupon or you buy it on Amazon, I would say that it's pretty inexpensive so it's worth buying if it works, but I guess we'll see if it works. Okay, so this is the packet. Oh. This is the package here, it's from a company called We Are Memory Keepers and apparently it's USB powered. Okay, so this is the pen. It has like a rubber grip here. It has the little leaf here. And then it has this tip. There are four tips available. At Michael's they had this one, the bold one, and the fine one. But I've also seen a cal calligraphy or calligraphic one, which is basically the, like the flat nib. So I kind of want to get that. If this works, I probably would. And then it also comes with this little roll of foil. So this it's very, very thin. If you've used any of the products that do heat transfer foil, like the mink machine, then you probably know. So that's basically what it is. Um, and then there's just some instructions. Just says to plug the pen in and allow to heat for five minutes. Place foil over project and secure using a low tack tape. Slowly draw or write to ensure a clean transfer. So I have warmed up the pen for five minutes and um, don't touch the top because it's really, really hot. I have a few pieces of leather. I have this black leather which has a textured surface. I also have this leather which is unfinished, untreated. It is raw, very, very flat. It's the veg tan. I also have this gray leather, which is also very flat. It does have finish on it, I believe. Also have some brown leather and another type of black leather. So it says to cut this in a piece. So I'm going to do that and tape it on. It literally did nothing at all. I think I'm doing it upside down, actually.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have three pieces here. I'm gonna do fast, slow, and these ones I'm gonna do with heavy pressure, and then I'm gonna do fast with a lighter pressure. This one I did slow with a heavy pressure, and major majority of them I have been going really slow with a heavy pressure. So I'm going to try and see if the speed helps. <laughs> So this was fast with light pressure, this was slow with light pressure, and this was fast with heavy pressure. So I definitely think the fast with the light pressure is the best. And I don't know if you can see, but see where it's missing? That's where I started and stopped. So I feel like maybe I need to do even lighter pressure. So that's better. You can see here. Oh, it looks even better. try it on a different surface so I just have a book So I just want to share my thoughts before I lose all my sunlight. Um, overall, I would say that this pen is definitely worth the $36 I spent on it. Uh, it's one of those brands at Michaels that you can use a coupon on. So if you are going to buy it at Michaels, I would wait till you got a coupon or you can get it on Amazon. It is cheaper on Amazon. And uh, I tried it with a few different surfaces. My 
hope was that I could use it with leather and you can but I would suggest a totally smooth flat leather it worked really well on the veg tan leather as well as that gray leather I used this one here where I have all of the different uh, tests on here it works really well but my advice for this surface as well as the others is to use a light pressure I think you assume that you have to use a heavy pressure because maybe that's like a heavy pressure will get you the most gold put down but actually it's the opposite I think when you apply too much pressure the pen puts it down but it also maybe lifts it off and rubs it off I think I'm not really sure so I found that when I used a very light pressure and you want to go slow so that it heats it up that's when I got the best results and of course using a flat surface so this leather worked really well as well as the veg tan leather with this embossing um, it didn't work well with the textured leather especially when I used the textured leather and embossed it and then tried it that didn't work and I'm not really sure uh, why because I thought that the embossing would kind of flatten it but it just wasn't working and overall with the more like textured leather where it has kind of that this kind of finish where it's like pebbled almost it it works like it goes on there but it's just a little inconsistent there's like parts where it didn't totally meet or touch the surface because some some parts are higher and some parts are lower so i would definitely recommend a flat leather smooth flat leather and then you can also use it on paper i tried it on this book and it worked really well i think that was the best exam like the the best I think it worked the best on the book and then I also tried it on wood for these pens and it worked for that too. It wasn't completely 100% even but it was enough that it looked good so that's pretty cool that you can try it on some different surfaces basically. I did try it on glass but it worked but it wasn't great and if you rubbed it the metallic kind of shiny finish would come off and then it was left with like a brown or muted gold so I wouldn't recommend for glass but I just kind of wanted to see if it would work so overall I think it's a good kind of fun tool to have you can do lots of different things with it and I think it's pretty inexpensive and you can also buy so many different colors of foil so you don't have to do just gold if you have any questions let me know or if you want me to try it on other surfaces let me know or if you have tips on how I can use it and you get an even better result I'd love to hear that too